In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God, and welcome to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed. Today is Saturday, the 3rd of August, 2019. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Leviticus, chapter 25, verse 1 and verses 8 to 17. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 14, verses 1 to 12. I read from the gospel. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard about the reputation of Jesus and said to his court, This is John the Baptist himself. He has risen from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Now, it was Herod who had arrested John, chained him up, and put him in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. For John had told him, It is against the law for you to have her. He had wanted to kill him, but was afraid of the people who regarded John as a prophet. Then, during the celebrations for Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company and so delighted Herod that he promised on oath to give her anything she asked. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me John the Baptist's head here on a dish. The king was distressed, but thinking of the oaths he had sworn and of his guests, he ordered it to be given her, and sent and had John beheaded in the prison. The head was brought in on a dish and given to the girl, who took it to her mother. John's disciples came and took the body and buried it. Then they went off to tell Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Say it as it should be, not as the like to hear. Say it as it should be, not as the like to hear. Dearly beloved in the Lord, a few days ago, going through Facebook, I met a prophet online. He had over 400 persons watching his live broadcast. It was not the first time I came across something like that, though. But this time, I decided to spare a few minutes. I watched for 30 minutes, and all that time, he kept prophesying. There is someone watching right now, he said, who is so, so, and so. I can see it right now. Your breakthrough is on the way. There is someone, he continued, who has this and this problem? I say to you that two months will not go past without you receiving this and that. There is someone with a pain in her tummy. This 
and that. And the viewers kept typing a litany of amen and amen, and some were asking him to prophesy to their finances, etc., etc. Some he asked to sow a seed if they expected to receive their prophecy, because he could see God asking them to give something to God's house. Beloved, don't get me wrong. I have no problem with people wanting to live a better life. There is nothing wrong in giving to God. But beloved, that is not the essence of Christianity. We should and we ought to say it to you as it is and as it should be, not as you like to hear. God sent us to preach the message of the kingdom of God and that message is repentance from sin and belief in God. That is what will take us to heaven. We should preach heaven, beloved. We should focus all our strength and energy on preaching heaven. That a preacher or prophet should spend hours on ending prophesying riches, wealth, healing and breakthrough and not how the people should seek heaven by repentance from sin, then there is a problem. I believe so. So some of us go seeking men of God not for repentance, not for heaven, but for success and breakthrough. How many of us worry about getting out of a certain vice that may take us to hell? How many seek counsel on how to love an enemy? How many seek a man of God to join them in prayer to fight a weakness in their Christian life? All the prophets, down to John the Baptist, even Jesus, spent their time preaching about the kingdom, preaching about heaven. Repent! 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 That was all they said. Jesus' parables were all about heaven, judgment, and hell. He always started. The kingdom of heaven can be compared to... Then he gave a parable. A few days ago, we were all talking about parables, talking about the end of time. We should be good crop, not bad crop. We are like fish of all kinds, and at the end, the angels will separate the good from the bad. Is that not talking to us about heaven? God's good people. Jesus' purpose and focus was winning people over to God. These days, on the contrary, focus is breakthrough. We do not preach anymore challenging our Christians to forgive. We do not preach challenging our Christians to love. We do not preach challenging our Christians to embrace suffering, to help the poor, to see Jesus in one another, above all, to seek heaven. All is about breakthrough healing and miracles. All most worry now is to tell their Christians their miracle is on the way. And that is exactly what the Christians like to hear. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, said Jesus, and every other thing will be given you. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Dearly beloved in the Lord, believe me, there are many things we seek and ask breakthrough that we can receive simply by repenting. How many of us in sincerity pray and beg God for the grace to know Him, for the grace to serve Him, for the grace to repent? I tell you, there are Christians who don't know God, yet they want Him to bless them. There are Christians who don't know even their faith, yet they seek blessings that come from that faith. How many Christians know the faith of their church? How many Christians can stand and give testimony about the God they worship? Some, I tell you, shockingly, do not even know the names of the twelve apostles. That is how much we don't know, yet we seek blessings from a God whom we do not even know. What accounts for all this is Christians have what they want to hear, and some preachers know that, and they tell them exactly what they want to hear rather than what they should know. In today's gospel, we meet a contrary preacher. John the Baptist did not tell Herod what he wanted to hear, but what he had to know, even when Herod got offended 
and imprisoned him. It was wrong for him to have his brother's wife. Full stop. John the Baptist did not mince his words. He said it the way it should be and not how Herod liked to hear. What will save us is truth about God, not success, not riches, not breakthrough. All this will come, but God first. Seek to know God. Seek to enter heaven and every other thing will be given you. Preachers should not flatter and deceive you, dear Christians. It is not all about prophesying breakthrough. It is mostly about doing good, avoiding evil, and seeking heaven. And when you seek heaven, every other thing comes. How then do you seek heaven? Repent of your sins. Love God. Do His will. Love your neighbor. Forgive your enemies. Be charitable to the needy, and you will witness enormous breakthrough and healing. Be careful, beloved, about what you want to and like to hear. Rather, seek to hear what you should know. We are losing truth, even among friends. How many friends tell their friends the truth about them? What they should know? We rather tell them what they like to hear. We flatter them and we do not tell them the truth. And that is why many friends see their friends falling, yet we do not tell them the truth they should know. Rather than pressing on the boil, we beat around the bush. It does not heal. Sowing of seeds is not the solution. Do you think God needs your money before he will bless you? How much can you pay for blessings? How much seed did you sow to see this new day? God is interested rather in our repentance. And so he says, if you bring your gift to the altar and then remember that your brother has something against you, Leave your gift. Go and be reconciled with your brother. First, then come and bring your gift to the altar. Which means repentance first. Seek heaven. How much seed did Zacchaeus sow to get salvation? It was rather his repentance. The same with Mary Magdalene. She repented. So to beloved, change from that life of Herod that you live and salvation will come to your house. For the grace, we pray, dear Lord, to have many more John the Baptists and to be like him, to say things as they should be, not as people like to hear. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. We wish each and every one of you a happy weekend. <music>